Twitch, what's going on, man? Happy Monday. It is February 26, 2024. Hope you're having a good day, good night. Today, we are playing day 18, I believe, of Persona 3 Reload. 70 hours in, bro. 70 hours in. Day 19, sorry, day 19 of Persona 3 Reload. I'm still a little bit sick. I can't tell if I'm worse or if I'm better, but I got the sniffles, so I'm gonna get real annoying in this stream. <laughs> but I'm here for it. Today it is all right, I guess. Like, I don't know, man. Like, even like going to sleep last night was kind of trash. It was garbaggio, bro. Oh my gosh. Then I woke up, oh, and I had to deal with, oh, what's this? This this one co-worker that I can't stand for the life of me, bro. He's so annoying, bro. Oh my god. And it's just eight hours of that. Oh my gosh. And then I got to commute home. Commute's actually not bad. I kind of blank out, to be honest. Oh, and today I was job searching because low-key, dude, 40 miles for driving a day every time i go to work five days out of seven of the week oh you're tripping bro the amount of gas i am spending and using is insane i have to find another job bro i need something closer bro i need that i need the gas bill to drop oh gosh what else what else oh yeah i'm thinking i'm thinking of going back into graphic design bro I have this really bad habit of going into something and sticking with it for like you know a good amount of time and then I switch to something else like I can't stay on something which pisses me off because sometimes I go back to that same thing that I switched off of and it's like bro why didn't you just stay the course you would be so further along but it's because I keep listening to people and I, I always feel like I'm behind and I'm not doing right and it's just yeah, so we're we're switching back to graphic design. But that's been that's been that's been what's happening with me. Besides that, I'm here. I got a little bit of a headache, but I'm here to play some Persona 3 reload, bro. As usual. We got the lemon water here, bro. Lemon water, nice and delicious. Nice and delicious. I had some tea in there before. I think that helped as well. I'm I'm trying to be on a healthy tip. Not only am I trying to lose weight, but I'm also sick, so it's like a double whammy. But it's kind of trash, you know. We get paid tomorrow, so um, the circle, the circle bottle will be coming back soon. It's just chilling over there. Well, it's just got water in it, so it's not that big of a deal, you know. I'm saying. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The sickness is coming back, bro. Oh, sleeping's gonna suck. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we have the juicy black cherry to ignite for good vibes during the duration of the stream and now that it has been lit the good vibes shall commence bro the flame has been lit bro what else we gotta do yep fit of the day oh yeah we, we're, we're comfy today guys we're, tough. we're comfy for today the on low hp i'm in critical health bro ah uh, Pokemon black and white type beat, bro. Critical he critical health of music, bro. <laughs> like, golly, dude. I've been struggling. I got no energy. And we got the sweatpants on because, you know, I gotta, I gotta be comfy. Before this, I wasn't even wearing sweatpants. So. <laughs> I had to put on something, bro. You probably didn't need to know that, but that's all right. I think that's everything. I think we're ready to just start the stream. I had some wings, bro. I was feeling some wings today, and they were good, bro. I had buffalo wild wings, mango habanero, and garlic parmesan. I, I fixed, I used that together with some Cajun seasoning. Oh, those wings were bustling, bro. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I'll make sure to mute the mic, bro. <laughs> you guys don't need to hear me sniffle. I can't do it. Veal's doing good too, by the way. Veal, Veal over there chilling. My fish is so nice. A goofball. She a goofball. Anyway, 
I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. Hold on, let me get this nipple. Dude, as soon as the stream started, it got like 10 times worse. But what am I gonna do? I I'm gonna go to sleep anyway, so whatever, bro. And then I can take the medicine then. Oh, but the yeah, this one got super clogged hella quick. Let's switch over, bro. <laughs> Let's switch over. Persona 3 Reload. Day 19, 70 hours in. Let's go ahead and jump in, boys. <laughs> boys and girls, ladies and gents, dudes and dudettes. And as customary, we gotta watch the opening intro to Persona 3 Reload before the stream starts so we can signify that it's a good stream, bro. That is a good stream with a sick ass dude, yup. <sighs> I'm waiting on the day someone just tells me to shut the fuck up, bro. They can hear me through these thin ass walls and they're like, bro, what is he doing over there? Can he shut the fuck up every night with this shit? <laughs> One day it's gonna happen, bro. It's gonna be super embarrassing. I'm gonna cut the stream right there. <laughs> on God. Makoto, help me, bro. Help me. Help me, please. <laughs> There's only one thing that can make me feel better, Makoto. Yeah, you right. Hey, hey, hey. Da -da 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 Full moon again. Crazy how time flies. Hey, hey. One day, one day I'll learn the lyrics. I swear here, I swear here. Stand up! Avenger! Nothing's easy, get up and go, get it, go! No matter how far away you go, how long it may last, you got a venture like go get it, burn your dread. Hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> one day, bro. I'm telling you, bro, one day, one day someone's gonna tell me to shut the fuck up, and I'm gonna be like, bro, I can't. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot cease my behavior, bro. Cease? Let me start the game. <laughs> Let me start the game, bro. Oh my gosh. I'm already tired. <laughs> I forgot. We in the second semester, baby. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, Kenji, I just might hang out with you today, bro. The music got me feeling good. Hey, 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 hey. Sun's up, another day goes by. Look at the time fly. Keep up, the dividend gives us that feeling of being alive. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. 
I'm ready, bro. Who who are we hanging out with today? We got options. We got Kazushi. Oh, hold on, hold on. We can hang out with man. Kenji move, bro. <laughs> Kenji move, bro. Where's Fuka? Oh yeah, you lucky. You lucky Fuka's not here. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, let me look at my social links. Kenji, Kaz, and Chihiro. Boom, boom. Kenji, Kaz. Kenji's five or six. Kaz is five. Chihiro is four. We're, we're hanging out with Chihiro. What's up, super fan? Isakura, you just sent by in a bathing suit at Yakushima? You should see her in Tartarus, bro. Did you get any pictures? No, that's weird. You're weird. <laughs> oh, some help you are. Oh, no, nah, I gotta report you. <laughs> you feed in the economy in a bad way. <laughs> I heard from my friend that there are going to be cafes and stuff at the culture festival. My club doesn't do kind of that kind of stuff. Looks kind of fun, though. Oh, my God. Those cafes and booths are so chic. That's so dull. They need to have some kind of twist to them. <sighs> I hope someone comes up with a crazy idea. Whatever. I'm out of here, bro. Excuse me. Yo, are you trying to hang out or what, Chihiro? I gotta get your persona. Hold on, I'll be right back. Hold on, let me explore the school a little bit, bro. We might hit some Twilight fragments. We got new dialogue, bro. It's a new month. <laughs> I totally knew it. My parents were so annoying saying, go study, go study. I wasn't able to wear my great new clothes during summer break. The sky was blue, the sea was blue. Why did my heart have to be blue too? Okay, I didn't know you were in poetry. Where are you at in the poetry club? Hold on. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that feeling of being alive. When I think of artists, I think of those people who are squint, who squint, and hold a pencil up to their subject. Oh, like this? Yeah, I feel it. Artists who do that, especially that guy in my class, I just want to look the part. Yo, low key, he might, he not, he might not, he either cooking or he's not, bro. He either got the stove gas on or, he <laughs> or he's still trying to, to light it up, bro. Um, what are we doing? I need to go to Polonia Mall, bro. I get distracted. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. We're going to the coffee shop today. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> okay, leave a review and put it under my name, bro. I give me a raise. The revenge website might be real, you know. I know some guys who personally signed up. Okay, so it was, it was their sisters. Cussing. Bro, can you tell me who it actually was? Your story is unbelievable now. Another day goes by, look at... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wait, wait until I go back there, bro. Oh, that's wraps. We don't have a justice persona? You're shitting me. How? We have to have two of something. No, we don't. Okay, well, I can't hang out with her yet, so goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Gotta make room for a chat hero. <laughs> Speed up. Speed up. <laughs> Marvelous. I can sense that your power is growing. Oh, pause. How may I assist you? <laughs> pause, Elizabeth. Choose your words carefully. Registering personas? Yes, ma'am. Overriding acceptable? Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> this is your progress so far. I know we're killing it. We're killing it. 43%? That's not bad. Not bad. This is this acceptable? Absolutely. It's yours. Thank you, Elizabeth. I'm out of here. My nose itches. And I have to sneeze. And I have to sniffle. Oh my gosh. It's a good thing I got this mute function on lock, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Blue Yeti. Thank you. You know I gotta do it one time for the one time, bro. Oh yes. Golly. I never felt like do 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 do. 
My heart, stop looking at me like that, ma'am. I gotta leave. To see you soon. Oh my gosh, you too. Dude, it's the way she looks at us, bro. It's the portrait. The portrait goes crazy. I can't. The portrait, it hidden something different, bro. Hey, Chiro. Excuse me. Hell yeah, let's go, bro. Let's go. Hello? Today, I like to go talk somewhere and relax. <sighs> Not too many people come here at this hour. This time of day is perfect. Oh, yeah, so, 70 degrees? Um, mm -hmm. There was something I needed to ask you. What's up? I'm all ears. <sighs> Thank you. I got you. Don't even sweat it. So, if there's this friend I have. Uh huh. Um, she's a girl. Okay, okay. Well, there's a boy who's been helping her a lot recently. Okay. Like giving advice on her problems, looking over her homework, that kind of thing. Yeah. She even told me that lately, she can't stop thinking about him. Whoa. So I, I was wondering. She's down she bad. Right now? She's down bad. She's down bad, bro. You're jumping to conclusions. Nah, dude. She's in love. She's in love, bro. Senpai. Whoa! Now that I'm hearing you say it, I get the feeling you're right. Or at least. Oh I god, that hit different a little I mean, bit. I'm sure that's how my um friend feels. Hold on. Let me act my age. Thank you. Well, <laughs> I think I know how I should proceed now. I uh, I mean, I know what to tell my friend now. Nah, hold on. You said you. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I already see through it, bro. You already outed yourself. I knew it. Frame one from the jump, bro. My friend has this guy, her, this guy helping her with her problems. Like, bro. Sorry for asking <laughs> you about such a weird topic. I'm happy to help. Senpai, you always take my problems so seriously. You're too nice. Am I too nice or is the world too well, mean? Should we get going? Be honest with me. It's oh, not that hard that to be nice. Me. What's up? I think I'm slowly starting to get over my fear of men. Oh yeah. So far, I can only talk to boys I know. That's not bad. I can almost look them in the eye. You might want to stick with that, honestly. <laughs> Just stick to who you know. You don't gotta talk to strangers, bro. People are nasty. With you, I, I think I can do even better. I shall support your endeavors. As as it's nothing too scary, go ahead. You want to go skydiving? Shit. If I make the wrong move here, I might upset her. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Whoa. Whoa. This might be the reverse social link they were talking about. Whoa. Oh, shit. I gotta pick the right option or otherwise she's gonna be pissed. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, bro. What is the right option here? She's gonna be pissed, bro. She's gonna be pissed. Nah, nah, nah. You, you're not getting me, bro. I played the other games. This, that's a reverse social link right there. Right then and there, bro. You're not getting me. Nope. <laughs> Speak to her softly. <sighs> I think it's hold your hand, bro. I think it's hold your hand. But I don't like her like that. I don't like her like that. Is that gonna reverse my social link? I don't like Chihiro like that, bro. I'm sorry, Chihiro. I'm sorry. Uh, am I leading her on by doing that? By saying she's in love? Aw, uh, dude, I'm scum. <laughs> am I playing with her emotions, bro? Yuko said not to do that. Look at me. Oh, I'm scum, bro. Huh? Oh, um. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's all you get in for me, man. I don't know you like that. I don't I don't like you like that. I'm sorry to you. Get out. <laughs> I, 
I would have been okay holding hands. I know that's the okay method. Oh, n nothing. I can't. I can't, bro. I cannot. I cannot go with that choice. I walked with Chihiro until it was time to head in a different direction. I can't. I can't. No. I won't allow it, bro. Oh, there he is. Oh, what's up, Yukari? What's happening, bro? It's only the fourth. We got four more days. <sighs> that does it for our first day back. Well, you two have perfect timing. What do you mean? Perfect timing? For what? Hey, Fuka! Is I guess ready? Damn! What do you think? Wow, I guess. This is how I look now. Look at you, GeckoCon student ass. Why is she wearing a school uniform? What's going on here? How's she wearing those clunkers on her feet, bro? She got pegs. So I told the others as a joke. But the chairman actually agreed. So now she's gonna start as a second year tomorrow. Damn! Seriously? He's down with that? He said something about studying her behavior in a social environment. Sounds like him, all right. That's hardly the problem here, bro. She's a robot. We can't put her in human society without everyone freaking out. They're not ready for that technology. Well, if he's cool with it, then I guess it's all right. Yeah, but Akutsuki is also the guy making puns 24-7. Even when our lives are online. Junpei, can you get your dick <laughs> out of your head, bro? And can you start using your two IQ cells? The school camouflage that Fuka-san provided is more than appropriate. Okay, never mind. It looks very natural on you. No one will suspect a thing. But why do you want to go to school? It's not like it's interesting. As the second semester commences, I intend to synchronize my schedule with everyone for maximum efficiency. Understandable. If I here on standby, it could affect our deployment efficiency. Oh, to true, it, true. I requested reassignment alongside our squad leader. Deployment efficiency, huh? Why do I feel like you being at school would make that even worse? I will make any necessary adaptations as the situation evolves. Uh, sure, you do that. <laughs> Koromaru. He says, I want to go to school too. You cannot, bro. You're a dog. Koromaru. No. You definitely have to stay here, okay? Yeah, sorry, buddy. Mm. I'm sorry, boy. Bro, you're a dog, man. You're gonna be so noticeable, it's gonna be crazy. I forgot what I bought. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. What are we doing tonight? Damn! Tanaka. Whatever, bro. Can I help you? Oh, hi. I gave Aika some winter clothes to wear, to wear so she's... Hold on, I gotta sneeze. That sneeze was creeping up for a long time, bro. I gave Aika some winter clothes to wear so she's covered up. I hope she won't be too hot in them. Is this true, I guess? Do you need regulation? I have a question, Makoto-san. Why can't Koromaru attend school? I do not understand why I am permitted to go to school while Koromaru-san is not. Because he's a dog. <laughs> That's a negative. Nowhere in the school's regulations does it state that canines are prohibited from attending school. Yeah, but humans go to school. Humans. <laughs> have you seen a dog go to school? Where is your database? <laughs> Even Koromaru-san seems perplexed about this. Unless we have a school like pet thing going on, but nah. Wait, seriously? Dude, let's be real. She's seriously cute. Bet she'll be super popular. Tons of guys are gonna have a crush on her. What if someone finds out that she's, you know, because of the way she walks, the way she talks. Don't worry about it, Junpei. I guess we'll be fine, bro. If the chairman thinks it's a good idea, that's on him. I recommended Igus's attendance at school to the chairman. Igus requested that she attend, and I couldn't think of any reason why she shouldn't. 
the chair she's a robot <laughs> the chairman agreed so there you have it okay i guess <laughs> your two words are final When Aika-san wears a school uniform, she looks just like your average high school student. Indeed. Besides the headphones, bro, take them shits off. <laughs> the teacher is gonna scold you like crazy. So, if she wears a summer uniform, everyone will be able to see her mechanical arms. So we decided she should wear a winter uniform. Wearing this in the summer is a little weird, but I don't think it's she must be a robot weird, right? I agree. I think. I had nothing to do with this, alright? It was all Mitsuru. If anything happens at school, I'm not gonna be held responsible for it. Give me a break. <sighs> what is Akutsuki san thinking? What's in the fridge, bro? Can I put my taiyaki in there? Oh my gosh. Unbelievable shit. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go hang out with Tanaka. Thanks, guys. Bye. <gasps> Let me pet Koromaru. Hold on. Kurumaru chan! Good boy! Good boy! Oh my god! You're so cute, bro. Alright, Tanaka. You have my time, bro. Do not waste it. <laughs> oh. Well, if it isn't Yuki. Are you busy at the moment? If not, I can teach you a valuable life lesson. Free of charge, of course. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't have a devil. For a devil. <laughs> Ask a lot of why. I never let it phase me. I'm keeping good vibes. When I'm on the road, I watch out for all surprises. What it provides is good and bad, but nothing is dies. I'm gonna end up spending a lot of money. I didn't even get rid of the persona. Maybe I can make a devil one. Do Welcome I want to risk that though? Yeah, I don't think I want to risk that. We look Sorry, Tanaka. I don't think I want to risk that, big bro. I'm gonna have to get rid of somebody. The cheapest one we have is Chihiro's. I probably won't hang out with her for a while. If I'm gonna be honest. So, I think I'm gonna get, yeah, because you're the cheapest one. You gotta go. If anything, I can just rebuy you. Them's the brakes. Welcome to the Velvet Room. What's up, Elizabeth? This is your progress so far. May I have a double? Please. Please. Please take a look. Is this acceptable? Yes, ma'am. Very well. It's yours. Very well. Nope, that'll be it for me. Thank you, ma'am. I'm out of here. Yo, Tanaka. Oh. Let us hang out. Hey, where's the coon at the end of at the end of my <laughs> where is it bro it should be yuki kun where's my honorifics so terribly packed i don't usually have time for your average joke you know oh yeah and that cock hat a uh, cockeyed ass smile <laughs> says otherwise bro you should be glad you're such a handsome boy yeah i know all right dude i got a Let's big a ass sit on my forehead still repeat after me Placebo. Hmm. The stress is on the middle syllable. Placebo. 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 Very good. You're feigning interest well. What do you mean feigning a interest? Placebo is a pretend pill. Basically, it's a medicine to give you peace of mind. Imagine this. A supplement to eliminate those unsightly love handles without lifting a finger. Or really? a car navigation system that uses real-time image data to make your commute all the smoother. Or at least make it feel that way. You mean a GPS? These are just a fraction of our unique line of <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> Don't we have that? 
I don't know about the former, but the latter, that's a GPS, no? Am I tripping? Wow. Huh? You're really wowed by those bogus products? Yeah, because the last one's not bogus. One could see them as rather spectacular. Our business doesn't provide tangible benefits. It provides peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Take emergency supplies, for example. People feel safe just because they have them, don't they? Mm -hmm. As it turns out, <laughs> the more money people spend, the better they feel. Mm -hmm. Now then, I can agree with that. For I do lesson. feel better when I spend money until I look at my bank account. Your first <laughs> um, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, whenever that happens. I received somewhat questionable advice from President Tanaka. I understand him uh, a little better. Un poquito. <laughs> Un poquito. Have you been keeping your promise? What promise? You didn't tell anyone, did you? If you tell back on your word, you might be surprised to find your profile suddenly on an internet dating site. Okay. <laughs> What's the problem with that? <laughs> they changed that dialogue, bro. I think it used to be prisoners dating site. <laughs> what happened, Atlas? Why are you getting soft? <laughs> I comprehend. Me too. I comprehend that this music is gas. Oh shit. Someone just filled their car up, bro. Hey, hey. I see. This must be Tartars during the daytime. That's right. It's school right now. Yes. I see. I shall record that in my memory bank. Welcome to school, I guess. Welcome to school. Hey, hey, don't catch drool. Ah, oh, fuck off. <laughs> Class, we have another new transfer student joining us today. My goodness, Miss Toriyumi. How are you doing today, ma'am? <laughs> nice to see you again. And introduce yourself. Morning, teacher. <laughs> My name is Igis. I am pleased to meet you all. Igis san? I've never heard a name like that. Maybe she's a foreigner. Let's see, anything else I should know? Hmm? Humanoid tactical weapon. Who left that on there? What? A Kutsky. <laughs> that's a mistake. It just goes to show you can't believe everything you read. Yeah. Just like how you can't believe everything on the internet. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, te good lesson, Let's Teach. Good lesson. Um, mm -hmm. I'm in. Are there any open seats? Oh, there's a spot right Wait, next to him. Wait, but what about the girl that sits there? Okay, off you go. Uh, Miss Toriyumi, someone already sits there. He just ditched today. He? Which means he's not here. So now it's yours. All right, take your seat. That's tough. The spot is perfect. My highest priority is to be with him at all times. I guess. What is it? Yukari. Uh, Yukari, why'd you stand up? Damn. Uh, why? Yeah, why'd you stand up, Yukari? Uh, Hold on. Good to see everyone's getting along so well. But do me a favor and save the drama for after class. I know you jealous too, Teach. Give me a break. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why do they look like mother and daughter, bro? Can I help you, Icus? What's up? Some inches from Sonata. I like your backup. I have some important things to take care of after school. I want you to come along. I'll be waiting by the front gate. Meet me there. Akihiko, my social links, bro. Gosh. Okay, never mind, never mind. I'm back in the good mood. That's right, I received a message from Sonata earlier asking me to meet him after school. I should meet up with him. There you are. What's up, dude? What you need? Okay. <laughs> Yo! You're really starting to piss me off. Wait, wait, hold on! Not in front of Hakakure, bro. 
Let's go in front of the station where the pitfall the pitfall is, bro. Not in front of Hagakure. That's just in fact, let's go back down to the first story where Wild Duck Birder is. They always be starting some shit with their mystery meat. <laughs> Things have changed. Sorry, but I'm not taking no for an answer this time. Ain't no way. What? This belongs to you. <sighs> um. There's a new threat. Persona users just like us. <sighs> so? That's not my problem. You sure about that shit? Shinji, where did you That's get those cowboy everything. boots from? Amada <laughs> has joined our team. What the hell do you mean? He has the potential, and Ikutsuki san approved it. He's a persona user now. I don't believe it. Tell me one more thing. Was it his decision to join? Why am I here? Yeah. <laughs> he came to us. I see. Then, I guess I'll stick around. So, you're in charge now, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're looking at the leader. For you. What are you fighting for? Um, I don't know. To protect someone for my own sake? I don't know. I don't know. They asked me to help, and I was like, okay, I guess. To protect someone for my own sake? Is it for my own sake? I guess. Is it for my own sake? I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I see. Well, you do you. You gotta work together either way. You do you. My old room's still empty. Yeah. Damn, you moving straight into the dorm just like that? Yet another new ally has joined. Shinjiro Aragaki. He's a year older than me. He seems to have lived in the dorm before. Though shrouded in mystery, he seems to be a reliable partner. Okay, Shinji. Okay, Shinji. Oh, welcome back. What's up, Ken? Everyone just chilling, huh? What's up, Koromaru? What's good, boy? Oh, no pets? Oh, hell no. My day, so my, my night's ruined. <laughs> Alright, Gaki-san kicks ass, man. I'm never gonna forget what he did for his back in the valley. Alley. <laughs> With him back on the team, ain't nothing gonna take us down. Yukari, you trying, to you trying to share some Pocky, bro? You got the cookies and cream flavor. It's the best one. Nah, I'm lying. Strawberry is the best one. Alright, Gaki Senpai is the guy who helped us out at uh, that place, isn't he? He used to be with Cease, huh? So we'll be fighting with him from now on. Oh, I didn't mean to sound like I have a problem with that. I know he's a good guy deep down. Give me some Pocky! <laughs> Alright, Gaki Senpai seems scary, but I think he's just misunderstood. I doubt that he's a bad guy. I mean, he used to fight alongside Sanada Senpai and Kirijo Senpai. Oh, I forgot the TV was even here, bro. Damn. Forgetting the TV was even there, bro. Food Channel will be introducing you to another popular food. Last year, the meal was Konsu Konsome Soup. What will it be this year? Coming up after these messages, today's special report will be on apathy syndrome victims. Whoa. Is he in here? Where's Shinji? He's gotta be on the second level. Um, Aragaki-san seems very strong, but do you think he's trustworthy? I mean, he was hanging out at that kind of place. I just find it hard to trust people like him right off the bat. Nah, stop lying to me, Ken. I know, I saw the cutscene, bro. I know what you're thinking. I'm up nim I'm up I do blood. I'm omnipotent. What's up guys? Not bad. At this point, there's nothing left to say about this group's fighting strength. But yours has dulled. Yours has a dulled, right? <laughs> I'm already like, excited for the next full moon. Jeez, you're the same as always. 
What do I, how do I do Shinji's voice? Greatly appreciated. I truly am glad to have you back, Aragaki. But admittedly, I'm curious as to what motivated you to pick up your evoker once again. Mm. Something must have affected you profoundly. I won't pry, however. Yeah, I appreciate that. Maybe I'll be in the mood to tell you someday. Yo, Shinji. Looks like we'll be working together for now. But I'm gonna take a back seat for today. I'll be ready tomorrow, so hit me up anytime. <laughs> okay. Vending machine still out? Yo, I guess. Hello there. Makoto san, I'm glad you're here. Are you available tonight? I have borrowed a book about Yakuza from. <laughs> Yakuza? Like a dragon? You playing Infinite Wealth, I guess? I was searching for a combat-related material, and the librarian suggested this. Um... It seems to provide information on combat tactics as well as the proper mindset for battle. Hell yeah. However, there are some elements that I don't fully comprehend. But you may be able to help me understand it more. Would you be willing to try? Sure, sure. You have my thanks. Oh, we gonna talk about infinite wealth, bro. Ah, oh, yeah, some Ichiban Kasuga. <laughs> yes, sir. Shit. We only have one book, so please open it wide so that we may both view its contents. Okay. Ah, here it is. In this scene, the main character says that ass better not crack under pressure. I guess. What the hell is your language, bro? Why do I feel like that's actually a line from Infinite Wealth? Or like a dragon? That line is wild. That ass better not crack under pressure. <laughs> Whoa! Usually, people's asses are already cracked. Yours is as well, right? Is yours, I guess? <laughs> Obviously. That's a secret. <laughs> That's a secret. You don't get to know that. I understand. But please tell me someday. For now, I will put the question on hold. <laughs> I guess Currently, you're so this silly. Is the only section that I am unclear on, but I suspect that if I continue reading, I will encounter even more confusing phrases. That has better not. You don't mind. Could I ask you to read with me until the end? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, hold on, that line threw me out of whack. Thank you very much. With your help, I've been able to update my records with new information. Apparently, this book has a sequel. It does? If it is possible. I would like to read with you again sometime. Oh yeah, this was like a dragon, the next one's infinite wealth. <laughs> or this is Kiwami 1, the next one's Kiwami 2. <laughs> I feel like my charm has increased after reading about the main character's righteous spirit. Yeah, you know, some light, some light. It's gotten rather late. We should head back to our rooms, or should I say, our turfs? No, no, wrong, wrong time and place for that. <laughs> wrong time and place for that. I guess. <laughs> good try, though. Good try. Dude, this bump on my forehead is pissing me off, bro. I can't not notice it. <laughs> oh, someone's in Tartarus. Good morning. This is Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. <laughs> I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Oh. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Uh, Goodbye now. Goodbye. Look how messy my bed is. It's not even that messy, bro. The blanket is just messed up. Hello. Like, calm down. Look at the look at the rest of the room. It's spotless. <laughs> Hello, Mitsuru. Hi. How's it going? A news report. Whoa, what is this picture? I've never seen this, um... <laughs> I've never seen this portrait art of Mitsuru before. Whoa, that's kind of different. A news report stated that the number of cases increases just before a full moon. It looks like there are more cases than last month. This is the highest I've ever seen. See. 
Hmm. Something must be done. I don't know the reason for the increase. We'll just have to remain alert at all times. Yes, ma'am. Mitsuro, are those boots dress code? <laughs> Who said you could wear that here? What's up, I guess? Damn, what? Can I help you? Hi. <laughs> like, damn. Greetings. Rest easy. You and I will be together all the time now, Mikoto-san. She's still far from passing as a human. <laughs> Doesn't look like she understands ordinary feelings in conversation. If she could, I might be able to form a bond with her. Is that so? What do you think about... Oh, you schlumped. Oh, no, you're on your phone. Never mind. Hey. Were you listening when she was talking about the culture festival? Nope. <laughs> nope. Seriously? We're running a cap... The timeline Keep up And if it ever is Feeling of being alive We're running a cafe A cafe For heaven's sake It's so typical Why don't we do something fun Like a heavy metal cafe The girl outside was talking about Doing a twist and not being you know Generic So you might be on to something Junpei Yukari? Uh, Are you heading home, Yukiko? Let's walk home. Yeah. Um, you're not charm charming enough. No thanks. Gosh! Oh my god. Whatever, bro. Where's Fuka, man? Oh my gosh. Ah. Unbelievable shit. Okay, let's think about it. Oh, hold on. I'm at the nurse's office because they don't feel well, you know? He started giving me lessons! When I listened to his lecture till the end, he gave me a medicine I've never heard of as a reward. I mean, just let me sleep! <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> what more do you want from me? I forgot we can do supplemental lessons. Yeah, I'll go in for a lesson. <laughs> What brings you to the nurse's office? <laughs> uh, you've come for a supplementary lesson. You're quite the promising pupil. Perhaps this one may even. That's such. Uh, pay no mind to the mutterings of a kindly nurse. <laughs> well then. I must ask. You wouldn't happen to have your own deck of tarot cards. Don't lie. I can smell them on you. Can I have a chance to answer? Do you consult them regularly? If you own a deck and you don't use it, it's a shameful waste. Let's do just that. Though, damn Joker! <laughs> Though, while we're on the subject, how about a detailed lesson on the use of the tarot? Hold on. Sun's up, another day goes by, look! The timeline keep up. The different air brings us that feeling of being alive. I warn you, it's a complicated subject and will take some time. You want to hear it? I'd like to hear it. Very well, then. Your fate is sealed. <laughs> Today, we will examine the most common use of the tarot reading words fate. Or, as is more commonly known, fortune tell. As such. For now, let's keep the simple one card spread where you draw and interpret a simple card. It will suffice for learning the basic methods of the tarot. So, continuing on. Now pick a... <clears throat> now, a quick word of the deck. On the deck, for the best results, you'll want to use all 78 cards. But for today's example, we'll limit ourselves to the 22 major arcana. The procedures for telling fortunes via tarot goes like so. Shuffle, cut, spread, and read. That is to say... That means mixing them all up, putting them in a pile, lining up the drawn cards, and examining them. When I say spread, I refer to how they will be presented. It's a concept I come back to several times. Okay. Ah, oh, I nearly forgot about the necessary preparation before handling the cards. Before one begins a tarot reading, one's mind must be calm. 
Try to simultaneously unify and relax your consciousness. Done. <clears throat> wow. You must also stay focused on the goal of your reading to avoid wishful thinking clouding the results. I guess we'll get started. Once you're relaxed, wow! Place the fate cards face down on the table to hide their images. Then the client of the reading will shuffle or mix the cards. Well then. If you're reading your own fortune, then you perform this step yourself. The most common method is to spread them on the table, mixing them in a circular motion with your left hand. The left hand is the agent of the subconscious mind, you see. <laughs> oh, if you're clumsy or you have, have lost a hand, or what have you, you can use either or both hands. It all depends. When the client is satisfied, make a single pile and thus complete the shuffling phase. And by pile, I mean a neat, orderly stack. That is to say. Now on to cutting the deck. Split the stack you made into three piles, each roughly the same height. Normally the client also performs the cut, but the fortune teller is free to perform this step as well. Hmm. Just allow the spirit to move you. It may be of your own feelings, and it may be occult inspiration. Reorganize the three piles into the, in the order of your choosing, combining them into one pile again. So, continuing on. Once this is complete, the reader shall take the pile. Be very careful during this step. You must pre preserve the direction the cards originally faced. If the client is someone else, turn the pile so the cards face the same direction that they were to you. If the client is someone else, turn the pile so the cards face the same direction that they were to you. Oh, so don't turn them over. Just push it towards them. Okay, I get, I get you. Right? And now, it's finally time to draw a card. This is the spread phase. We're doing a one card spread, so turn over the top card and place it on the field to the side. In some methods, you specify which card from the top, but that's a topic for another time. The card on the field provides the answer to the client's question. Now at last, the reading phrase. First, we must understand the card's meaning. What the card represents depends on if it's reversed or not. That is to say. Do you remember that much, yes? There are a few exceptions, but in general, a reverse card is negative and has different meaning. Once you understand the meaning of the cards drawn, apply it to your question. Let inspiration rise to the surface of your mind. And well, well then. form a story around it. I'll say it once more. Develop your story around it. A story, I say. A story. Your story. Our story. <coughs> Excuse me. I went too far. Regardless, simply telling the clients the card's meaning isn't considered a true reading. Using the clue derived from the card, the reader must use this inspiration to look into the client's future. So, continuing on. It's important to converse with the client as well to assist with their divinations. Tarot is both the skill of reading the cards and reading people. Perhaps I should save this for posterity. What's that? Each card's meaning? Didn't I hand out the notes on that before? If you've lost them, you're on your own. Research that information on your own time. As such. Well, I think that's enough for an explanation for today. Oh yes, one more thing. Always seal your inspiration after the fortune has been told. Say farewell to the cards, for instance, or imagine cocooning yourself in a sleeping bag. If you don't seal your inspiration, it may draw unwanted attention. Hmm. Oh, talking so much I want is quite draining. Since you've been taking your study so seriously, here's a little something. Take it, and off you go. I did this for a muscle drink? You're lucky it was interesting, bro. <laughs> if this wasn't interesting, oh my gosh, I'd be livid. That took up so much time, too. That was like 10 minutes of reading how to do a tarot. That was pretty loud, I'm sorry. A uh, tarot reading. Who is this? That's KSK.
guys never seem to be able to do much in home ec. That's not true. You mean there are guys who are good at selling? That sounds wonderful. Yeah, bro. Maybe if you spend some time in the home ec room, you have met my man Bebe, bro. Andre Laurent Jean Giroux. Bro, put some respect on his name. I see that apathy syndrome stuff on the news a lot these days. It seems like there's more of them. How worrying. You should be careful about that. If it spreads too wide and the school shuts down, I'd have to look for another job. <laughs> Just wait until the economy crashes, bro. <laughs> you won't be looking for another job regardless. Who are we hanging out with today? Kenji, Chihiro, and Kazushi. I think Kazushi and Chihiro are on the same level, so we can actually hang out with Kaz now. Yes sir, yes sir, Kaz, I'm on my way, bro. Does she have apathy syndrome? You alright? Oh, she's on her phone. <laughs> you alright? Oh my gosh. Yo, Kaz. We're gonna save that for next time. Unfortunately, I'm too close to the end, and we're two days away from the full moon, so I'm afraid that a huge cutscene is gonna happen, and then I'm gonna be fucked into like another hour of playing when I have to go to sleep for work. So, with that said, thank you guys very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Uh, make sure to check out my social media links down beneath the video player, or if you're watching on YouTube in the video description below. Check out thedarkhour.com so you can find all my social media links on one page for you to redirect to your social media of choice. And make sure to follow or like the video if you enjoy the content. That said, I hope you have a good day or a good night. And I shall see you guys possibly tomorrow for more Persona 3 Reload Day 20. 71 hours in. And with that said, I'm going to get up out of here. I'm going to take my ass to bed. I'm gonna call it a night. Peace.